Hello, welcome. I'm back to go over some significant updates to the aggregated sheet, and I'm sure you're going to find these changes to be a big improvement. Uh, this video supersedes some parts of the original aggregated sheet video. I, I recommend that you still review the original video first and then review this one. Uh, the release notes on the Golf Tournament Spreadsheets channel also summarized what has changed, but I think it's worthwhile for me to explain it in a bit more detail here. So let's get started. So one of the first things that's changed is um, the, the complexity of having to have the Golf Trip aggregate gated tournaments folder in the root of the C drive on your computer. Uh, it's now, it now can be anywhere. And if you look on the screen here, you'll notice that this is out on my um, OneDrive uh, under the Documents folder. It's called Golf Trip Aggregated Tournaments YouTube Example. Uh, and it still follows the same structure as explained in the original video with the match folders and the um, aggregated sheet. Um, so it, 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 the only thing that's changed is it doesn't have to be in the root of the C drive. So you can put it anywhere. And, and sometimes putting it on one drive is going to be an advantage for you, I'm sure. Or you can have it anywhere on your computer. Um, the stipulations are, again, that the aggregated sheet must be under the main folder and the sheets must be opened in Excel. Um, Excel is a requirement because uh, if you have it out on OneDrive and you're trying to open it through a browser, that's not going to work. Uh, or even if you try to open it with a mobile version of Excel, that's not going to work either, either uh, because neither of those um, methods support uh, linking and the aggregated sheet and the and the um, tournament sheets all have linking uh, requirements in them. So um, you do have to open it with Excel, but you can open it for view in a browser or in the mobile version, and that could be useful if you want you uh, to to distribute it to your players and so they can get a you know an online. Um, view of the current scoring and payout situation. Another significant change is the way that players and teams are defined in this current version. In the old version, it was very restrictive. Um, there was a requirement that um, the players or teams had to be defined in the best ball sheet, which was in the match one folder. Uh, and that, once they were defined there, that carried through all the, all the uh, games and all the matches uh, through every day. So once you set them once, that was the way it had to be for your whole uh, aggregated uh, uh, outing. And um, that was, this clearly was restrictive. Um, now, uh, you can define players or teams uh, for every game, uh, for every match, any way you want to. So you could have a, a match one, could have a best ball game, uh, and could have four man teams, four player teams, um, and uh, skins could be in match one also, and it could be individual play, uh, or you could have another... Uh, uh, game like uh, uh, Stableford and have that be with two per two uh, two player teams. Um, so it's all flexible. You can mix and match any way you want through the whole um, uh, aggregated uh, round. And let me just show you. I'm going to open up an example of an aggregated sheet here. Uh, and this is on OneDrive, so it's a little slower than if you had it locally to do all the, the linking. Um, it's still it's still updating here, as you can see. This is still flashing. Okay, 
um, this is saying that um, it couldn't get to some links because I had I don't have all six matches I just have uh, four matches in here so that's fine um, so as you can see the players I'm using just uh, letters but um, they're set up as both teams uh, two-person teams in this case or, or individuals um, uh, if you look in the match folders themselves uh, you'll see each of the the games in there and if I open them um, you'll see that this is defined as two person teams but it could you could have this one defined as um, two person teams or individuals and another one defined with um, you know three person or four person teams uh, any way you want and it gathers all of those players and totals everything at the end uh, based on team uh, payouts so um, let me just scroll this over a bit so as you can see uh, this team uh, won this amount, uh, this team won this amount, this individual won this amount, this individual won this amount. So uh, it, it summarizes it by team and individual and then finally at the end it consolidates all of the payouts by individual player. So it'll, um, it'll extract the players from the teams um, and add their portion of the team win into their individual score uh, and so this is how much they each pay each get paid um, regardless of whether they were on a team or uh, or won something individually so that's a lot more flexible than it used to be and I think it's going to be a lot more useful so I hope you agree with me and uh, uh, if you have any suggestions how, how else it might be done uh, I'd be happy to uh, try to accommodate that too. So just you can always leave comments, of course. Another cumbersome requirement was that um, you had to have a best ball sheet in every match um, in order to calculate the individual players' gross and net score, total gross and net scores for the entire tournament. Um, now that has changed uh, you don't need best ball in every sheet you don't even have to have the best ball game at all in your tournament um, it pulls in the uh, the daily scores or the, the match uh, scores for uh, total gross and total net uh, each day and then summarizes them at the end uh, and it gets, uh, you'll see in the notes here, that it gets those scores from the shared scorecard. So the shared scorecard has to be in every match that's there. So that's where it's pulling them from. You don't have to do anything extra. And um, and if you want to use this to pay out for low gross and low net, um, you know, it summarizes them across all the matches and you just enter your amount that you want to pay out for whoever wins uh, low gross or low net. So that's uh, much more flexible and eliminates having to use that best ball sheet everywhere. You may also note here that uh, the scores, I mean the payouts, now include uh, dollars and cents. Previously it rounded up to full dollars, but um, I found that if you want to play small amounts, it, it, it was difficult to use whole whole dollar amounts. So um, uh, it does use dollars and cents now, and that's uh, uh, an update uh, that was made in this new version. Uh, another minor uh, enhancement is that the um, special um, special prizes. Uh, this was. Uh, long drive and uh, closest to the pin um, you know you can change this field um, let me just unprotect the sheet as you know you can do from as explained in the original video you can change this name to whatever you want um, 
and uh, and then just enter the total amount for whoever wins that particular special prize, uh, and it summarizes that um, over here um, on commas BQBR. Um, I mean, sorry, on total BR and uh, BS uh, for uh, the entire tournament. Um, so uh, before you were stuck with um, using the uh, closest to the pin and long drive uh, no names, and um, although you could, you know, just put in whatever numbers you wanted, this allows you to uh, put in some meaningful name here. So that's really uh, pretty much everything. Again, uh, I recommend that you review the original video, um, then review this update uh, video, and uh, uh, and and again, it's in. If you take a look at the release notes, uh, these changes are described in there also, and down on the aggregate. Uh, tab uh, on the aggregate sheet tab uh, some of this stuff is also uh, highlighted so um, uh, take a look at uh, both videos let me know if you want to download uh, and I'll be happy to set that up for you otherwise happy golfing <laughs>